Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this brand new from Banquet. It is the Banquet Queso Mac. What do we got going on here? Macaroni with Monterey Pepper Jack Cheese Sauce. This thing is $1.89 for this box in pure banquet style. It is very, very cheap slash affordable. And I'm ready to get this out of the box and I'm going to get it in the microwave. I'm hoping for something cheesy and I'm hoping for something spicy. I'm only going to know when I get it out of the box, into the microwave, and down deep into my belly. Okay, I've taken this Banquet Queso Mac out of the microwave two minutes after pulling back the vent, uh, film to vent. Stir in another 30 seconds to a minute and a half. I put it in for a minute, so three total minutes. Here's how it looks. As you can see, uh, looks just like the box actually, except it's not in that nice fancy bowl, it's in a black plastic tray. But it is big, thick, macaroni elbow noodles. Uh, we got the nice white queso, and we have little red and green bell peppers, little specks there. That's supposed to give you the hint that it's got southwestern flair and a little bit of spice. We'll see if that really comes true. Now, this is not a huge quantity. It's 198 grams, and um, you know that's kind of like a little bit larger than what you would get in a Lean Cuisine meal in terms of full grammage. I made up that word. In terms of full amount in grams. Uh, because Lean Cuisines tend to come in at like a 160 to 175 um, in terms of grams, and then when you get to other meals, they tend to go into the low twos or maybe into the 300s. This going under 200 grams seems like it'll it'll give you know it's, it'll put a little meat on your bones, but it won't necessarily fill you up. We'll see. I've let this rest for two minutes as directed. I still fear that it's going to be piping hot, almost too hot for the delicate skin cells on the top of my mouth. But that's what I do in the name of science. Here is how it tastes. Definitely Monterey Jack cheese taste. The pasta itself is overcooked. Too much. Too mushy. Not so mushy that's going to fall apart, but definitely uh, too mushy for my taste. Um, it's big and thick, but it kind of like melts in your mouth. And I'm not down with that when it comes to noodles. Let's take one more bite. Little bit of kick there, a little bit of spice, just a little bit, just a little bit. It's almost like if you were doing a quick pan and scan of a room and you're like, where's the spicy dude? And you'd like just maybe catch a glimpse of one little guy in a sombrero and you're like, that guy, that guy's got spice. But it's not something where you're like, you're walking in the room and you're like, yes, it's fiesta time. It is okay. The quality of the pasta is not great, but the amount of queso-ness, the amount of cheesiness is actually pretty legit for a meal of this cost. Again, $1.89 for this box. I think it's not bad. I think if you like this, if this type of cheese and this type of macaroni and cheese uh, kind of floats your boat, it's worth trying out. I give this a four out of five star rating. Now, question of the day. Some of you, little known fact, if you've seen some of uh, the interviews I've conducted both on TV or uh, on radio regarding the show, would know that the history, a little bit of history, I started this show in 2008, reviewing frozen food, but before I settled on frozen food, I thought about doing a macaroni and cheese show. That was actually one of my first ideas before I uh, settled on frozen food. What is your favorite or best macaroni and cheese experience in your life? Don't tell me you've never had macaroni and cheese. If, if you haven't, uh, I, I, don't, I don't even know you people anymore. But for those of you who have, which should be everyone, Leave it in the comment section. What is your best, favorite, all-time macaroni and cheese experience in your entire life? As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.